Hey gems, so today I will be showing you guys how I turned my 10 gallon crab attack into a three story 10 gallon crab attack. As you can see, my crabs are very playful, they love to, you know, explore. So I decided to add two more stories to their 10 gallon tank. So this is how their tank currently looks. They destroyed everything as they often do. So for this project, what you're going to need is some eco earth and you want to submerge that so that it can start to swell up in 16 cups of water. Now I'm going to go in and remove all of their old furniture and little props and stuff that I had in here for them. There they are behind the log sleeping. So I got this Evergate green felt from Michaels. It was 39 cents. This cute little thing that you see me hot gluing the felt on, I purchased this from Goodwill for $1. Don't ask me what it is because I really don't know, but it seems to be some sort of like stand or something, maybe for like the kitchen or whatever. But I'm going to use that to give them the other levels. So right now I am using my vine that I purchased from Michaels. It was $8.99. If you use something similar to what I use, you want to make sure to put something on so that your crabs don't injure their legs when they're crawling up this, um, this little thing that I have here. So right now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hot glue the leaves or the vine around their little apartment so that they don't fall through or anything like that. Plus it will give them, you know, that jungle appearance that they like. This is very simple to do. Um, and even if you didn't want to uh, hot glue the whole thing, you can just like hot glue the beginning and wrap it around and then hot glue the end. But I just wanted it to be more secure since I have a couple of big crabs and I didn't want them to, you know, lean on it or get on it and pull it down. So I just decided to hot glue it for security purposes. So here's what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the finishing touches with the last little piece. Okay, so I still had a little piece left. So what I'm going to do so that they don't fall through the ladder when climbing up, I'm going to take the rest of the little bit of vine that is left and I'm just going to hot glue it with one of the leaves onto this ladder and I'm going to wrap it down and then hot glue it again just to make sure that they don't unravel it or you know when they're climbing up it, it starts to unravel. I don't want any of that to happen. Okay, so the Eco Earth is now ready. It absorbed most of the water. So now what I'm doing is just showing you how it still 
has some water in it, you can wring it out before you actually place it into your crab attack. So that's what I'm doing now. So I want them to be able to molt the proper way. So I'm putting a lot of this in there. So here's my finished product. On the third floor, we have their little moon coconut chair and their saltwater swimming pool. On the second level, we have their eating area where they have their fresh water and their food. Um, here is their area where they can crawl around, molt, play, do whatever they wanna do. And on the first level, we have their log where they can go in there and just chill out in the tunnel. So now I'm going to go ahead and put them into their new Kravitat. And first up, we have Eduardo. He's very fast. He's very feisty. And he's a sweetheart. Next up, we have Naomi. She is definitely a diva. She's not afraid to come out. Next up, we have Hermesha. Extremely shy. I've had her the longest for about two years now. And um, she's definitely a sweetheart. And last but not least, we have Mr. Rocky. He's the newest addition. I've had him now for a week. And he is quite a... Uh, I don't know what to say about him. He is just crazy. He, he tries to get out the cage. He climbs upside down on the lid and shakes it and all kind of things. So, yeah, he has a very, very loud personality. Okay, guys, so I hope you definitely enjoyed this cute video. Don't forget to thumbs up my video. And I will be showing more of my pets. So stay tuned for all of you animal lovers. Thanks for watching. Bye.